Welcome to Madison Noteworthy's Weekly Minutes. I'm your host, Brandon Williams, former NFL player, author, speaker, and your success coach. And today we're talking about recharging. We're talking about finding your zen. We know you're entrepreneurs who are out there running 900 miles an hour, but you have to take time to disconnect and find your perfect space in your head. And today we have the founder of Culture Community, Leah Rowe. How you doing, Leah? I'm doing good. How are you? It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again as well. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> so we're talking about people disconnecting and finding that Zen place. Yeah. What, what does that really mean, though? Well, it really means totally disconnecting. It like means no phone, no, no nothing. You can have your phone, but put it on airplane mode, turn off email. <laughs> Shut That's down tough. Slack or whatever communication tools you have. You have to completely disconnect. Man, so I've been running my business. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm even maybe a business professional, somebody yes. working 40 plus hours a week. What are some ways I can slightly disconnect before taking that huge step? Um, slightly disconnect, I would say take a weekend. You take a long weekend, um, two, three days, just shut down your email for a little bit. And I think, you know, the reason before people shut down completely, you have to understand the reason why you're unplugging. Like, what's right. the benefit? Right. First of all, know that your company is not going to burn to the ground if you take <laughs> some time off. Um, but I think that it's really, you know, pulling yourself out of the day-to-day -day is really good for you and mm -hmm. it's really good for your business. When you're just in the day-to-day, -day, you're constantly putting out fires. You're yes. a firefighter. And so by being able to disconnect and step back, you kind of have this Zen moment of seeing the big picture. Mm -hmm. And you really see, you know, you're able to reflect and analyze what's what's the root that's causing these fires. So yes. instead of being a reactive firefighter, you're finding the root cause and you're putting proactive. out that fire and you're being yeah. a proactive leader. So what what is a good, I know we said a weekend, yeah. but if we're taking a real Zen moment type of trip and we're, we're shutting down everything, what is a good amount of time? Is it two weeks, three weeks? So the longest one I've taken, which I just took, was two and a half weeks. And I have to say that that was incredible to take that much time off of work and mm -hmm. to take myself out of the business. I wasn't, I wouldn't say I wasn't not working because right. I was strategic thinking. I was thinking really big and planning. Um, so that was really incredible to come back and see, you know, all of these things that had been added to my to-do list before I left. Yeah. I looked at it then and I was like, you know what? All of this is unnecessary. Here are the three must do's wow. that will move my company and my personal life forward. And so that's what I tackled first. So how did you fight the anxiety of knowing that you would come back to work and have a hundred plus emails? So fighting that anxiety is really the team of people that I work with. Ah. The team, you know, people as uh, entrepreneurs and founders of companies, you spend a lot of time finding good people and building your teams. Mm -hmm. And so you build these teams and you have to trust that they're going to be able to take care of business while you're away. Yes. And trust is the key word. So you're, you're all about building company culture. Mm -hmm. How big is trust in that equation? Trust is paramount. It is foundational to having a strong organizational culture and it's also paramount to being able to fully disconnect. You know, it's really <laughs> incredible that you spend all this time building this great team mm -hmm. and then stepping away and you have a little bit of anxiety of you know what's going to happen, but then that really gives the people that you've brought in the chance to rise to the mm -hmm. top, you know, to take on new responsibilities yeah. and new initiatives. And it's really kind of a gratifying feeling to see that the world still turns, your company still grows mm -hmm. while you're not physically there. So you left disconnected for two weeks, two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? I went to South Africa. Nice. Yes, 20 hours of flying. I'm not a good flyer, but it was worth every second. All right. Well, there you have it, Noteworthy Nation. If you're going to disconnect, go ahead and do it for two and a half weeks. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding. But take some time off. There's a range. If, even if it's just, it's just a weekend trip for you to reflect and, and get that innermost thought that you can help to start planning your business and not be so reactionary. Going out to Africa may be the, the height of it, but just taking a weekend trip to Chicago or to some different, some place that you love to be at, it's very, very important. And it builds trust with your team, that you trust them to be able to step away from your business and let them make some of the decisions. So thank you so much, Leah, again, thank for you. checking in with us. Thank you so much, it was so great to be here. Yes, as always. Well, look, if you enjoyed this video, 
and you're interested in getting more information, go to our website, madisonnoteworthy.com, or connect with us via social media, and, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay connected.